What up, players? War Boss Tay up in this mud. Welcome to this War Boss Tay unboxing review video for the Ogre Kingdoms female man eater. Now, this is an old model, so it doesn't have its own uh, cover art on the box by Citadel Miniatures and stuff, Games Workshop. For the Ogre Kingdoms range, it used to be in metal, but then they threw it onto fine cast and. Um, so now we are going to take a look at the sprue and the figure and see what all comes on it. So I've already taken it out of the box, out of the plastic, and laid it out here for you. As you can see, you've got the main part of the body, and you've got one fine cast sprue with all of the bits and pieces on it. So, as you can see, lots of flash that you're going to need to clean up and take care of. And um, her gut plate is, it looks like it's basically a, um, I don't know, it looks like a shield, uh, but, but she does have a gut plate, just like, um, just like all the men in a race. She's also got a little pot, a little cauldron with a, what looks like a halfling hand peeking out of it there. And let's turn her over, some skulls. So she's ready for the cooking. Oh, look at that. Probably not an air bubble. I hope it's not an air bubble because that is disgusting. Uh, these look like air bubbles though. Fine cast. Fine cast. Look at all this flash. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so um, I'm sorry. I'm actually looking it up on the Games Workshop website so I can read you the, uh, the fluff for it. Alright, then you've got the, the sprue with... You've got her head here. Queen Latifah? No, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Is that horrible? I shouldn't have said that. I better edit that out. Then you've got... No, this looks like her gut plate. Okay, maybe... No? No, on the picture, this this is her gut plate. And on the picture, it even has this dent. I, was, I, I thought that might be, um, you know, miscast or something, but that is actually in the picture. So what is... Why does she have... Why does she have the Ninja Man Eater's gut plate? With the Ninja Star! Wait, what? 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 You know how I roll. Bow chicka bow bow. He left his stuff at the female Man Eater's place. Ah, oh, Pinocchio, what? Ah. Oh. And she's holding a rolling pin because yeah, that's not sexist at all. And she's got a fake beard. <laughs> Quote unquote fake beard. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build this up. I've got the, the fluff loaded up on the Games Workshop website. I'm gonna build it up, clean up all the flesh. What? Oh Games Workshop. And then I am going to um, show you the finished model with um, with everything glued together, ready for painting, and I'll read to you the fluff that goes along with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You're once, twice, three times a lady, and I love you. Yes, you're once, twice. Three times a lady And I love you Yeah, that's right, players. I got our two little lovebirds together. We've got the female man-eater and she's like, Hey, Ninja Man-Eater! You left your gut plate at my house last night. What are you gonna do about it? I am so sorry, female man eater. I will never leave my gut plate at your house again. Thank you so very much. But that's okay, I suppose. As long as you, as long as you give me a ring and, and make a respectable woman out of me. And uh, let's see what this respectable woman looks like. She's definitely got some spots in her that I decided I was going to cover with green stuff filling and. Um, liquid green stuff. So I just painted that on and uh, the cauldron especially was 
Oh, I missed some pieces in the back. It was pretty bad, so I just went to, um, I went to town on the cauldron and just covered the whole thing. Along with her shoulder, looks like I still need to cover it up, look like it came loose or when it dried it, the bubble popped back out. I decided not to give her the fake beard because I think her facial expression is hilarious and um, I'm going to paint her up like that. But I decided I didn't want to waste the beard, so I, <laughs> I threw it on uh, the back of her, uh, the back of the model. The glue is still drying on that. I'm gonna actually hang it, I think, like that. That's a little bit more fun. Okay, and let's read out loud, or let allow me to read the fluff of the female man-eater. This is taken off of the Games Workshop website, and it says... Oh, and also, I, I didn't notice this when I was unboxing it, but she's got, um, she's wearing fishnet stockings. So, how's that? And I don't know what the heck that is. There's, like, something peeking out of her boot, but it looks like a little mouse or something. Something she's got in there that's, like, peeking out, and it's making this expression, like, meh. Anyways, okay, the female man-eater. Ogre man-eaters are veterans of many campaigns, blah 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 blah, let's talk about the female. Being such a well-traveled bunch, ogre man-eaters will often be equipped with unusual and exciting weaponry. This particular man-eater is a female ogre, a rare sight in the armies of the ogre kingdoms, but not entirely unheard of. In battle, she wields a massive rolling pin sexist with which to flatten her foes. She also carries with her a fake beard, and then in parentheses it says, well, supposedly, in case she needs to disguise herself amongst the more chauvinistic male ogres. So there's that. All right, so fun, funny bit of fluff. You've got this female ogre man-eater walking around. I think that, um, I'm gonna paint her up in the warmer skin tones of my other uh, man-eaters and or my other ogres and I think it'll look great. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I love you, female man-eater.